What's up guys, Jordan here. Today I'm gonna to show you how to get digital marketing clients using Instagram DM. I'm actually gonna be doing this live. Obviously not technically live, but I've got a lead list behind me. I need to do a ton of outreach for my own agency today. So I thought I might as well record it and you guys can see exactly what I'm saying and how I am structuring my outreach. But before we get into the video, make sure you smash that like button for me and more importantly, ensure your notification bell is turned on so you get notified every time we bring out new content. Let's get started with this video. Okay, so you may be wondering, Jordan, why are you doing outreach today? I thought you had a sales team. And yes, I do have a sales team. I normally just jump on the meeting and I close the client and push them over the line where possible. But these are not normal circumstances that we are in. When I was talking about coronavirus the other day and I spoke about how much opportunity is going around with lockdown and things like that, as terrible as that is, I wasn't joking. I wasn't understating it. There is so much opportunity, especially in the e-commerce space right now. And so I want to ensure that in our agency, we are reaching out to as many companies as we possibly can. And if that means I need to be all hands on deck with outreach at the moment, then I'm all for that. And so that's what I'm going to be doing today. I've got about 35 companies that I'm going to be sending Instagram DMs to. I'm also going to be doing cold calling, emails and things like that as well. I follow a multi-platform strategy. In fact, you should watch the most recent outreach video that I put out on my channel if you haven't watched that already. But the reason that I like Instagram DMs as one of the strategies that I follow it's the fact that I can smash out a lot of DMs very, very quickly. It would take me about two hours to reach out to 20, 30 companies, uh, depending on, uh, on whether I can find their Instagram handles or whatever. But the team have very kindly already put together a list of all the companies I need to reach out to. So I'll be able to get through that a lot quicker today. I'm actually gonna be sending videos because I'm quite comfortable in a video format. And so that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys. Although you can adapt this strategy to audio or to a physical text message as well. The first thing you want to make sure that you have in place when you're doing Instagram outreach is you want to ensure that you have the foundations there. A lot of people send me messages like, do you need a lot of followers on your Instagram profile? Or what do your images need to be like? And they worry about their, their, their profile too much before they actually start outreaching. In fact, you can see uh, a picture of my profile here. I'll get uh, one thrown up. Now, I don't just have business images on my profile. I have personal images and lifestyle images as well, but uh, they're just not pictures of me getting smashed every single weekend holding a big bottle of Ciroc. Um, so if that is you, you may want to consider starting a business page, but ultimately, if you outreach professionally and you send somebody a message which interests them and excites them, then they're not gonna care about how many followers you've got. If you care about how many followers you've got, then again, you can click the link somewhere around this video and you can watch my most recent how to gain followers on Instagram video. So they're the foundations out of the way. Don't overthink that. If you're outreaching properly, then people aren't gonna care about how many followers you've got. The second thing you wanna know is how to actually structure these outreach messages. Now this is the same for any platform that you are using, not just Instagram, this can be LinkedIn, Facebook, or anything like that. Um, and uh, I follow a very simple four stage outreach strategy, okay? Uh, outreach message, okay? And the first thing that I do, and I'll see if I can get these listed up here. The first thing that I do is I will introduce myself and have a quick greeting. So I'll say hey and I'll say the first name of the person I'll address them by their first name always really quick introduction to myself so who I am number two the second thing I'll do is I will compliment them on something so I'll find something on their Instagram profile or on their business page which I can compliment them about something relevant something new number three is what I want to do is I want to tell them why I am actually outreaching them why I'm reaching out to them in the first place and finally number four is what I want and that's I want to have a meeting with you I want to share some ideas with you and at this point you just want them to reply and say yeah great I'm free over the next couple of days or I'm free tomorrow to speak to you okay so it's a very simple four stage outreach strategy and you want to use that for pretty much anything you're doing even when you're cold calling you want to follow those bo those four basic principles in all of your outreach. Anyway, that uh, pretty much covers everything. Apart from the fact of why I'm actually using Instagram instead of something like LinkedIn, I've gone through this before in a LinkedIn video. Again, you can watch that video somewhere. Uh, but LinkedIn, a lot of people get outreached a lot on, Insta on LinkedIn, okay? It's a platform that people are used to being outreached because it's a business to business platform. So I've found that we have much higher conversion rates on Instagram because people aren't being pitched as much on the platform and it's still viewed as a personal platform, okay? So 
let's jump onto the computer and actually get started with this outreach right now. Okay, so here is our list of leads. This is actually a Google Sheet. Now, I usually use Pipedrive as my CRM system, our pipeline management system, pipedrive.com, but I've exported our lead list onto a Excel document for the purpose of this video because it's easier to explain it to you guys uh, because everybody knows what an Excel spreadsheet is. I think there's around 600 leads on here. It's going to keep us very busy. The team have been working around the clock to generate these, and I'm just going to literally work my way down one after the other. I've blurred these all out because I don't want you nicking our leads apart from one, which is burnt soul. Now, one thing which is really important to highlight, which I've spoken about on this channel many times, is you need to find a business owner's name, okay? You need to be reaching out to the business owner directly no matter what outreach you're doing, whether it's cold call, whether it's DM, whatever. So I'm going to be DMing business owners' personal Instagram profiles. You want to go through the effort to find them. If you find their name, all you need to do is go over to Google and type in Instagram and then first name, last name, and then filter through the Instagram accounts until you find their profile. So anyway, burnt soul. I haven't outreached this company yet, um, but I've got their website loaded up so I can show you. Fantastic swimwear, swimwear company. They do menswear as well. Really colorful, really vibrant. This is the type of thing that's going to thrive at the moment, albeit people can't go on holidays, but who doesn't love a bit of holiday? Uh, doesn't love a bit of color in their life? They do many other stuff other than swimwear. Um, go over to their Facebook. They're not running any ads at the moment, which is absolutely ludicrous in the current climate. They've got 18,000 likes, 46,000 followers, really great base. So this is literally just a perfect client. This is their Instagram profile. Again, really great content. They've got 40,000 followers. This is a no-brainer. I can't actually believe that these guys aren't running ads. So yeah, it's exciting to be outreaching these. And then the team have found uh, the business owner, Robin, her personal Instagram profile as well. And this is what I'm actually going to be outreaching to. I'm going to be reaching out to Robin directly uh, right now. So in fact, let's just jump straight into this and I'll start working through some leads. And uh, yeah, you can see exactly what I'm saying on this outreach. Okay, so I'll just screen record my phone right now so you can actually see what I'm doing. But the first thing I'm going to do is go over to Instagram and then I'm going to find Robin. So I'm going to find a profile, Robin Burnt Soul. Okay, and I've got Robin's account. And what I want to do is what I usually do is I'll follow that person and I'll engage with a couple of posts, okay? Uh, now, you can always unfollow that person if you're trying to keep your ratio down. And uh, you can follow, unfollow them after a day or two if they don't actually respond to you or don't engage with you or whatever. So uh, yeah, that's completely your choice, but it's good to get their attention on the notifications. And so I'll follow Robin right now and I'll see if there's anything that I can actually engage with on her page. So I want to really find something I can compliment them on. And it's probably, there's not a lot I'm going at. I don't really have a lot of time because I don't want to be sat here doing too much research whilst I'm on to you guys. Um, so let's have a, look, have a look at the business page instead. I've got really great content. What's this? Yoga. Yoga home workout. Have they got anything else? Like yoga home, okay. Yoga home workout. I haven't been doing a good job on these home workouts in lockdown. So this is a good thing for me to comment on. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to engage with this, uh, I'll engage with the homework. I'll engage with this as well. I've got a couple of a couple of things there. I'm following Robin. I've engaged with a couple of posts. They're going to get a couple. She's going to get a couple of notifications. So even if she doesn't notice my message request straight away, she's going to see a notification from me. And now I can send her a message. So as I said, I'm going to do video message because I find that to be more personal. You've got the power of your voice, of your uh, appearance, and your your body language. And so yeah, it, this is kind of the best way to get your personality across to somebody if you're comfortable doing video. As I said you can do message or uh, just text message or audio as well if you prefer. So let's go straight in with this outreach message to Robin straight off the cuff. Hey Robin, hope you're well. Look, you don't know me, but my name's Jordan and I own a digital marketing agency here in uh, the UK. Uh, I don't need to say the UK. Sometimes I say that to international clients. We'll get, get rid of that. Hey Robin, I hope you're well and you're only... <laughs> Guys, the first one's always the hardest. <laughs> We'll get there. The first one is always the hardest. Once you get into the swing, it's going to be easier. Do not, do not be, don't worry about it. If you stumble over your words, you screw up, just start again, okay? It'll be easier once you get a couple under your belt, okay? So we're going to go at this again, okay? I've been doing this for years and I still screw up. Hey Robin, I hope you're well and you're dealing with lockdown as easily as possible. Now, I know you don't know me, but my name's Jordan and I own a digital marketing agency. I was actually just on the Burnt Soul Instagram page and I noticed the yoga post you had up recently, which made me laugh because I tried the whole workout from home thing yesterday and let's just say I was nowhere near as graceful as that. But anyway, getting to the point at hand, I was on your Facebook profile as well and I noticed you're not running any adverts at the minute, which to me is absolutely crazy because of how much opportunity is going around for e-commerce businesses right now. And I know that lots of companies 
companies are afraid to take risks. But as an agency, we've actually made the active decision to guarantee potential clients results at the moment. And so I would literally guarantee you re- return on investment within your first month, or you get your money back if you were to work with us. And so this message is just to arrange a meeting with you. There is so much potential with your brand. I love what you have built. And I want to speak to you over the next couple of days. So if you're free for 15 to 20 minutes, please do let me know. And I'll speak to you very, very soon. Thanks, Robin. Okay, so it's as simple as that. And uh, I will just very quickly, I am going to actually send this right now because I don't want to lose it. So I've just sent that. So this is real outreach and I'm doing this. You can't see that. But yeah, I'm, uh, this is real outreach. This is not fake. And so um, I wing that every time. Uh, what I would say there, it's not going to be the exact same words for every single person I speak to. I let it flow. If I screw up or I say something, I'm like... That's not how I normally say it. Like, I just let it happen, okay? Because if you, if you get really like, caught up on how you're outreaching, the exact words that you're saying, how you're structuring it, then it's not going to come across natural. And that's the worst thing, is when you sound scripted on an outreach message and people aren't going to want to speak to you, they're not going to want to respond to you. And so you want to ensure you are as natural as possible. And so, so don't beat yourself up if you screw up a couple of times. So yeah, a couple of tries and we got there on this first one. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go straight in now to showing you me doing a couple more. Hey Trudy, I hope you're well and you're dealing with lockdown as easily as possible. Look, you don't know me, but my name's Jordan and I own a digital marketing agency. I was actually just on your website and I love your products. I love what you've got going on. I actually just moved house myself and so I've spent the last couple of days buying home furnishings. So I'm gonna have a good old browse later on uh, and see if there's anything I, that tickles my fancy on the site. Uh, but anyway, back to the point at hand. Uh, the reason why I'm reaching out to you is I was on the Facebook page the other day and I noticed you're not running any adverts at the moment which to me is absolutely crazy because given the current climate e-commerce companies are thriving right now and there's so much potential for you guys to grow through advertisement at the same time I understand that companies are afraid to take risks so as an agency we've actually decided to actively guarantee return on investment to our potential clients so I'd love to extend that to yourself and really I'm just trying to arrange a meeting with you I'd love to speak to you for 15-20 minutes share some ideas over the next couple of days so if that sounds like something you're interested in please let me know and I'll speak to you very soon. Thank you, Trudy. Hey, Sally, I hope you're well and you're dealing with lockdown as easily as possible. Now, I know you don't know me, but my name's Jordan and I own a digital marketing agency. It's actually funny that I'm reaching out to you because I, um, I'm learning to snowboard myself at the moment. <laughs> it hasn't been going too well. Let's just say I've had a purple bottom a few times. <laughs> but anyway, uh, to the task at hand. Um, I was on your Facebook profile the other day. Facebook profile and you're not running any adverts at the minute which to me is absolutely crazy given the current climate and the fact that e-commerce companies are literally thriving at the minute and I understand that businesses are scared to take risks and I completely understand that and so as an agency we've actually decided to guarantee our potential clients results we actually guarantee return on investment when you work with us or you get your money back and so the reason for this message is just to arrange a meeting with you I think you've got so much potential to grow through online adverts and I want to arrange 10 to 15 minutes where I can share some ideas over the next couple of days. So if you're free and you're up for that, please do let me know and I'll speak to you very soon. Thank you. Hi, Tom. I hope you're well and you're dealing with lockdown as easily as possible. Now, I know you don't know me, but my name's Jordan and I own a digital marketing agency. I was literally just on your website and I absolutely love your aesthetic, I've got to say. And I've literally just moved house myself. And so house shopping is my guilty pleasure right now. So I'm going to have a look later and see if there's anything that tickles my fancy. Uh, But back to the task at hand, that's not why I'm reaching out. I was actually on your Facebook profile as well. And I noticed you're not running any online ads at the minute, which to me is absolutely crazy because e-commerce is literally thriving, especially in your niche where every Everybody's locked into their four walls and they're looking to improve their home. And uh, yeah, I wanted to reach out to say, you've got so much potential to scale online. And I'd love to have a chat with you. Just share some ideas with you. No obligations over the next couple of days or so, 10 to 15 minutes. If that's something that sounds like it would interest you, please do let me know and I'll speak to you soon. Cheers, Tom. Okay, so guys, that one there, um, you'll notice that on some of these messages, I've been, uh, let me just send this. I've been offering a guarantee. Uh, Now, this guarantee is something that we've literally just decided in our agency to offer within the last couple of days, given the current climate, okay? Because some people are a little bit hesitant. We want to make this an absolute no-brainer. Now, we've still been signing clients. We literally onboarded a client earlier on this week um, without the guarantee. But we've introduced this just to see how people respond to this kind of outreach when we're introducing it. What we're doing is we, we are guaranteeing two times return on investment within their first 30 days because we've systemized e-commerce now. We 
know we can get clients results and we're only reaching out to companies who have um, who are getting existing traffic existing sales so we know it's going to be very easy to get them results that's why we're offering that guarantee but these guys um, I didn't actually offer them a guarantee because they're more of a new start and so uh, yeah you, you can't guarantee certain things in marketing and so it's a little bit more of a risk for us to to guarantee these guys results so that's why I didn't offer that but if you're wondering why I've mentioned that guarantee that is that's what we're doing so you don't have to do that with any agency if you want to offer something similar if you're an existing agency then by all means do that but we've been outreaching for the last two years and a half without having to do that and we've scaled up incredibly well without the need for a guarantee it's just something we're testing out at the moment as an FYI right need to carry on Hey Billy, I hope you're well. Hi Steve, hi Saskia, hi Russell, hi Judith, hey Katie, hey Joanna, hi Oliver, hey Melanie. Okay, guys, um, yeah, obviously I can't show you all of those because there's a lot and I need to continue doing these as well. So I'm actually gonna round up this video so I can continue with all of this outreach. I'm gonna do some cold calls and stuff as well today. Uh, and we have a client meeting in one hour. We're the money! So uh, yeah, that's exciting. This is actually a second uh, call. So hopefully we're just gonna be able to push them over the line. I'm gonna try and record that as well. Um, but I hope you've got a ton of value from this video. I hope that the, the thing you've understood from here is that outreach needs to be personal. Outreach needs to be unique to you and you need to not beat yourself up for screwing up a few times or, uh, or for changing your wording. The most important thing is you need to sound natural and unscripted and it needs to, it needs to come across to the business owner as if you are only reaching out to them okay it needs to be really personal and also I'm tailoring my pitch to the current climate many of you will be watching this video and we will be over COVID-19 okay coronavirus won't be a thing anymore hopefully okay um, but you'll notice that I've tailored this to that no matter what's going on in the world right now I will try and tailor my outreach to a global climate or what's happening it's very rare that you have to uh, deal with something like this but it, you want to make sure that you use that as a, as a way to make it a personal outreach okay that as a way to um, yeah, just to be human and not just follow some religious script. Now, another thing you want to make sure that you are doing is following up on them DMs. If you don't get a response within two days, send over a text response, okay? Saying, hey, I'm just following up with this or whatever you want to put. Or you could send over an audio note. Again, multimedia, okay? It works well. You've got to test out different things with different people. Follow up every two days or so until you get a yes or a no from that business owner. The, the, the key is in the follow up. You need to follow on every single person make sure you keep a log of that on your spreadsheet or your CRM system the other thing you need to do is turn on your notification bell I'm serious because I'm going to show you what results we get from those DMs okay we're going to see exactly what responses we get from those DMs and we're going to secure some meetings and close some clients from them and so ensure you have your notification bell turned on I'll show you in the next video or maybe the video after that what results we have got and you can follow that end-to-end -end process of me closing these clients or uh, at least trying to close these clients so I'm back in the game I'm doing outreach now okay there is so much opportunity going around during this time right now in the current climate people are saying should I still outreach absolutely like I am all hands on deck in the agency because we're trying to nail down e-commerce clients and local clients who can transition online as well so guys I hope you enjoyed this video drop me down a comment and let me know if you have any other things that you do on DM outreach which will be useful for everybody else and I will see you all very very soon cheers guys